Hey plant fam, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline and this is my jungle. So today, very quickly, what I wanted to show you was how I mix my soil. So this is just my general soil mix for Pretty much all of my plants now granted every plant is different and i understand that and it depends on the plant that you're putting in the soil and the pot that you're putting it in so this is really just my general mixture for pretty much everything and then i will add or take away things depending on the plant and what it needs. So I keep all of my soil pre-mixed in this little container just because it's easier for me when I have to repot something, especially something small, to have it already mixed up. But I'm running low, so I figured I would show you guys really quickly because I'm always mentioning my soil mix. Now I can just direct you to this video for reference. And all of the things that I'm gonna mention now, I have linked in the description box below if not the same exact product then something very similar on amazon because some of these things i picked up at home depot so first we start with my soil base i prefer espoma i've heard a lot of good things about black gold and another brand i think fox farm is supposed to be good but this is what i'm used to this is my espoma organic cactus mix this is for cactus palm and citrus trees so i use this for pretty much everything just because it it's basically the same as regular potting soil it just has a little bit of bark and perlite in it as opposed to the regular that i have here oh no this is the orchid mix i use this too so <laughs> The orchid mix literally just has more orchid bark in it and they're pretty much all the same thing. I guess I don't have the regular. They also have regular just organic potting soil. So it's really up to you which one you want to use. I go back and forth between these two mostly just because it means that I don't have to add as much of my own bark and perlite to the mix because there's already a decent amount in here. So I'm gonna use mostly soil. This is probably like 75% soil. I'm really bad with math and I just eyeball it. So don't quote me. Spoon, where's my spoon? Let me get some more soon. I don't like to keep too much soil on hand just because I don't have a lot of space to store it. So that's the soil. This is still older soil. So then next I'm going to go in and I'm just going to add some more perlite. This is miracle Grow perlite that I picked up at Home Depot. I don't like miracle Grow. I don't like to support them as a brand. So I, I am just trying to use up this bag. I've had it for so long <laughs> and then I'll probably get espoma i'm pretty loyal when it comes to like a brand that i like i just want to use the same stuff across the board it just feels good for me it feels organized i don't know i'm weird so this is just perlite like i said you can get this at home depot if you want to if you're into miracle grow because that's all they have at home depot or you can order the espoma online or even better honestly i like to get it from local nurseries if i see that they carry espoma and i know that i need some because i'd rather support the small business so i'm adding four large spoons of perlite into my mix and that should be enough but we'll see what it looks like which reminds me of when I was a kid and I used to go to the fair and make those like sand art things. I used to love those and they're so dumb. Like what are you even supposed to do with it after you're done? Now you just have like a cat, a plastic cat filled with colorful sand. 
That looks good. That's a good perlite ratio, in my opinion. Just want to make sure everything is really evenly mixed in here so that I don't have to worry about it. When I go to pot up my plants, I know that everything is good to go. So next, I didn't use my orchid mix. So since I didn't use any orchid mix today, I'm going to add some orchid bark. This, I don't remember. I think I got this on Amazon. This is just orchid potting bark. Nothing fancy, just some bark. Just make sure you get small pieces of bark because I got one one time and they were like really big. So just like a handful or so. Don't need a lot because like I said, I like to keep this mix pretty basic and then if a plant needs more of something, I can add more. I can't take bark out of the soil. I mean, I can avoid it. It's pretty big. So just a little bit of bark. I'm going to mix that up. Let me know what your favorite potting soil to use is, if you have one. Okay, and then I'm going to add my worm castings. These I have linked and bought on Amazon a long time ago. This has lasted me a while. I'm going to put a decent amount of this in here, about two. big spoonfuls of worm poo. So this is just a natural fertilizer. It's very gentle, all organic. And that's pretty much all I do to fertilize my plants. I have yet to dabble with liquid fertilizers because I mix it into my soil and then plants that I haven't repotted, I will just sprinkle some on top and then when you water it, it kind of seeps through. So. That's how I fertilize my plants, in case you were wondering. It's easier for me, just a no-brainer. It's already in the soil. And then Espoma um, has some organic fertilizer in their soil as well. So you really don't even need it, but I have found that when I do add some worm castings to my plants that they seem a lot happier because they got some food. Plants need food too. Every once in a while the soil runs out. And the last thing that I'm going to add is a little bit of charcoal. You really don't need a lot. I think I've been going a little overboard with the amount of charcoal. So I'm literally just going to take one spoon of charcoal and put it in my soil. Mix it on up. I'm sorry for all the noises. I'm trying not to make a mess. Okay, so that's it for this soil mixture. I don't know if you could tell, but we've got a nice little mix of bark in here. And the white stuff is the perlite. And this is going to be nice, sort of chunky, nice aerated soil for most of my plants. My pothos, my monstera is potted up in an even chunkier mix than this. Um, the charcoal actually helps to keep bacteria out of the soil, which will help keep bugs out of your soil. So that's always good to add a little bit of that in there, keep any mold and stuff like that from growing. That's it for this video. I hope that it was informative and not too painfully boring and that you can refer to it if you ever want to see how I mix my soil when I talk about repotting plants in any of my videos. So if you liked this, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from me. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.